accuracy. He hasn't missed a single one yet. There we go. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. That that's that's impressive shit right there. Quad in one. Wonka moving in to grab it. Has actually his gills to pick it up. And gills oh, will kill shit. everybody and just leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, no country for old men right there. There's the handoff of the real gun for Gills. He's gonna peek around and kill Mesa without even Mesa having a chance to turn to see who is gonna pop the cap on his ass. So six to five. Now, uh, have we been uh, doing a little bit of a red count here? Because I think the paramedics left red before it spawned before quad. I'm not entirely right. sure on the timing that. of that, man. Yeah, the timing of that meant it was a little bit awkward deciding where to be at what time. Mm -hmm. But that was even a little bit surprising because of Wonko's rails. I mean, that left Mesta as the large stack in the pit. But as you saw, Gil's taking it away and taking an early lead. Only two frags, though. But really, what are we going to want to see differently out of paramedics here? That's from DTN. <laughs> that was awesome. Not shit like that, that's for sure. Oh, and there we go. Finally, yeah. we get the gauntlet out. Yeah. And Clamp uh, kind of bum rushes into this room, and he's fighting against people without weapons, so he might survive this. Oh, he won't survive that. But he did get Wonka down to 17 health, so that makes uh, pushing in for red very hard. Gills now stacked at 100 by 100. Now, um, one way to play this map, and, and I'm kind of wondering if, if we're going to start seeing this, uh, sort of typical positions are going to... Oh, whoops. Uh, are going to be... Um, where you, you kind of have uh, the guy that's really good at playing defensively, making sure to hang on to red. And, uh, and then you've got your other guy that's really good at survival, um, sitting out with the rail gun and doing what he can kind of in, in the thick of it all. And then um, you, know, you, you basically coordinate running the map whenever each of you gets a uh, worthwhile stack and or quad. Teams are tied. <laughs> that that being said, paramedics have just tied it up. Quad and five. Wonka's sitting on the item, and that could be really detrimental to his health. Gills will get right into uh, that quad is taken and lost. And uh, that was actually a great play by Clamp OK, because um, I think had paramedics grab that one and run with it, it would have been a pretty big run. So um, no real control over red armor at the moment. Clamp OK is going to be the guy that potentially get it in the next 10 seconds. We're going to come back to him in a second. Gills fighting for his life, gunned down by Wonko. And Mesta, on the other hand, is a fresh spawn. Let's go back over to Clamp as uh, Red Arm is coming up now in two seconds. We'll see what he can do with it. And nobody's there, but Clamp does eat a rail as he tries to exit pillars. He's going to have to go low now. Taking Plasma, we have Yellow Armor coming up. It looks like he's going to try to bolster up his armor with that. No contest there. So Clamp now, Rocket jumping over to Railgun. And that's going to set him up pretty good for the next grab for Red Armor. Now he's going to be at the back end, taking one in the back end, not knowing where it's going to be coming from. And Mesta is going to try to float him up. And holy crap, paramedics took control of Red and how. But... What? What? <laughs> don't, don't do that. That is how you ride the shafts, ladies and gentlemen. Gills, the shaft master right there, 17 to 5. Uh, but this is a nice close game. Again, since the quads have been largely ineffective, killed as nearly as soon as they were grabbed, uh, everything has been about this red armor, and that's why I'm sticking at uh, points of view that demonstrate who's picking it up. Gills is going to hand it off to Clamp. We're going to switch over to his point of view, uh, because the run of this next quad, I think might separate the scores here. Clamp, looking for an RL. Gonna hang out here for a second. Now I'm gonna go in. This is kind of a, well, ballsy move, because if he gets railed on the exit, he doesn't. But he's, he's spotting, he's trying to defend against Red. He's waiting for the, the uh, move up the jump pad. Not gonna happen. Red's coming up. Clamp's gonna be able to grab it. And this timing is beautiful here, because um, for those that have watched our coverage before, you will know, you know, you know, have heard me say this before, but oh, wow. he who gets, you know, he'll pick up Quad, and he had to kind of crowd the plate there. It's a shame that Clamp couldn't get it, but at this point, Gills well, can really basically take... Well, yeah. Um, Gills can basically wait this out. He'll still have about 10 seconds to run with Quad, so it's not that big of a deal to wait out for Red. There's right. one frag, there's two, one, two frags. Hopefully there's three, not killing actually. His own teammate. No, well, that's going to be <laughs> net one, net one yeah. frag there. Good, right. good job. Uh, there's one. Ah, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> but see again. And so right. again, are, are we seeing some coordination issues uh, with paramedics here? Seeing yes. like one guy over at pillars and the other guy over maybe at the bridge and or at rail. And that is kind of an issue. Ooh. 
That's a nice play by Mesta. Uh, and we're going to take a look. We're going to cycle through. He's picked up Railgun. And now he's starting to use it. Um, I think he's the only guy on the map with a Railgun. Clamp's about to die to an LG. Make it a rail. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it is Mesta as the guy with the uh, with the rail. So that can be a really, really huge factor as they are closing this gap. Take a look at the score. They've just managed to net uh, three frags in the amount of time that COK's team has gotten one. And we're now one frag to go. There's a tie. So that is how you use the rail gun effectively. Dude, dude. Mesta's rail right now, 80%. Yeah, exactly. Just... He should stop using other weapons, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, as you can see, he's been doing some really great combo work, really nice pop-ups with the rocket over to rail, which is accounting somewhat for that accuracy. But we have quad coming up, 13 seconds, Mesta, nearly 100 armor. And it looks like Paramex, Paramex, uh, I'm sorry, it looks like Paramedics is going to be setting up here in mid. But Where's Mesta's Wonka? Looking down here, there he is. Unless he can crowd in. Wonko goes down, nice. so does Gills as nice. Mesta takes quad. And Clamp jumping right into Mesta's eager awaiting LD shaft. But only now up to 40 health for Mesta as he goes on a rampage with that LG out. He got Gills. And good control <laughs> of Renar. There we go. That was awesome. All right. 32 to 23, this thing has exploded into quite a game for paramedics. And again, I think we have to hand it to Mesta's rail work and this quad run. Uh, and he, he's getting railed off here, but he is basically uh, help paramedics take a sizable lead. Now, it's a bit early to really call anything at the moment. And uh, he's, that's a risky thing, yeah. He's going to get caught out by Clamp there. It's an easy shot. But... Um, you know, they did it really without any serious red control, because for, for the most part, the COK team has gotten the majority of reds, but Rail is always a good counter for it. Mesta not able to uh, put it to use. Now, here's the really crucial thing. Gills is going to go grab that Rail, because they want to keep... Oh, they want to keep it away from the opposing team. And uh, once you get a Rail, you usually want to try to keep it away, because as we saw, Mesta can use it to get back into the game. Right now, though, Clamp is doing that job. 66% rail for that man. It's now 29 to 32. Here's the thing I'm seeing, though. At the end of that quad run, a really, really great quad run, where were they? They were actually on the other side of the map while Red was spawning. So maybe they're not quite uh, accustomed to the end game of the quad. Maybe that situation doesn't come up enough, but really they need... Oh, Mesta with his back turned ends up... Yeah, Taking that's the uh, easy way out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, now again. COK back for red, quad up in about five seconds afterwards. And he's stacked to the teeth. That one rail will actually change the balance very much. We're gonna go take a look at Gills, who is stacked to the teeth, uh, or at least was after the, was. the rocket explosion there. But uh, now is a little bit hurt, he, but he's obviously gonna win this fight. Um, MG versus MG times four. Mm, tough one. 33 to 32, tied again to Wonko getting a buck shot against Clamp OK, but here comes Red Armor, so he, this is basically the start of the quad run. There's one. And with that frag, Wonko trying to come in low on pillars, but against Gills with a fresh Red Armor and still plenty of that quad, that puts Cock on top. Everybody loves it when Cock is on top. Anyway. Uh... Gills. That wasn't supposed to be awkward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mesta, his accuracy is for rail is down to 52. Next, no. Yeah. 52%. Gills, um, again, is at 66. Almost in midair. We, we can't count it as a midair, though. It, it was against the wall. I have to, unfortunately, dock him points for that one. But, um, oops. Wonko almost killed Mesta there. Clamp OK finishes the job for Wonko. And let's see if he can also get Mesta as well. There it is. So now we see the lead switch back the other way. And again, if we take a look, who's got what weapons? Clamp's got a rail. And he's the only guy with the big gun. Will Mesta go get himself one and uh, use it to get back in on this next quad? It's got to happen now because at the turning point in the match, we have passed the halfway point. And any sizable lead will be harder and harder to uh, grab back. So... There's a nice uh, toss of weapons. Gills handing off an LG to Clamp because they are already looking ahead to this quad run. Just a few.
few seconds. He 